Okay, look, I know March really raised the bar, but I'm pretty sure if you look really closely, you will find the gym more than releasing in April. I have single-handedly curated the list of 10 April titles that you must look forward to if you want. And as clickbait videos once claimed, number one will blow your mind. Or was it will make you cry? No man, let's go. First, we have Mini Shoot Adventures by Soul Studio, an independent developer whose games usually take place in the same weird but charming universe. Mini Shoot Adventures throws you into a world that's a mashup of Zelda's exploration and the intense action of Geometry Wars. Starting off with just the basics in a tutorial cave, your ship quickly levels up, gaining new abilities as you collect gems from fallen enemies. The game teases you with a map that shows points of interest, but getting to them? That's where the adventure really begins. The surface world has its secrets, sure, but the real treasures are hidden in the cave system below, filled with hidden tunnels and precious gems. Mini Shoot Adventures tries to bring more to the table than just a bullet hell though. While it might remind some of Ark Vale, Mini Shoot Adventures sets itself apart by delighting in getting you lost, challenging you to find that elusive switch or hidden path to progress. It's a game that encourages exploration, trial and error, and a fair bit of bullet dodging agility. For those curious, there is a hefty demo on Steam that gives a solid taste of what's to come, offering three difficult levels to suit all types of players. Whether you prefer a more forgiving experience or thrive on the challenge of dodging relentless bullet barrages, there is something here for you. There's not much information out there about the game and honestly there's not much I can say about it. It looks like a fun little game that I personally think it's more suitable for the Switch, but nevertheless it releases only on PC. After a period of anticipation filled with mystery, Mini Shoot Adventures is finally set to launch on April 2nd. Ready to unleash its unique blend of exploration, secrets and bullet hell action, it's time to mark your calendars and prepare to dive into a game that's as charming as it is challenging. At number 9 we have Children of the Sun, the latest brainchild from the folks at Devolvo Digital, who are known for tossing us into worlds that are equal parts quirky and mind-bending. Now, if you're anything like me, when you hear Devolvo Digital, you might be expecting something filled with puns, exploration, maybe a cute character or two. But buckle up, because Children of the Sun is flipping the script and diving deep into the realm of creepy mind control carnage. This game isn't just dark, it's like someone tried to blend a puzzle with the kind of nightmare feel that keeps you up at night. You play as the girl, a mysterious character donning a terrifying mask on a revenge mission against a cult. And she's got mind control powers which she uses to make bullets zip around like deadly pinballs, taking out cult members in the most grotesquely creative ways imaginable. Children of the Sun plays out like a puzzle wrapped in a shooter where every level is a new challenge to use that one bullet to chain a series of unfortunate events for those cultists. It's not about waiting for the right moment to shoot, it's about turning that single bullet into a multi-target takedown with the help of some serious psychic powers. Each level you need to figure out the most efficient way to take out your targets. Of course, this is not all there is to the game. Children of the Sun throws in new mechanics and challenges that up the ante, keeping you on your toes and making each level feel fresh. As you progress, you'll find yourself bending bullets mid-flight, taking out birds for a better view and even restarting your deadly chain mid-action. With its unique take on the puzzle shooter genre, creepy aesthetics and brain-bending gameplay, Children of the Sun promises to be one of those games that's as fascinating as it is unsettling. Sure, it might cost you a bit of a sleep, but trust me, it sounds like it's going to be worth every sleepless night. Keep your eyes peeled and your minds open, Children of the Sun releases on PC on April 9th. Alright, let's dive into Lunar Land Beyond, where you've just landed the gig of a lifetime as the captain of a spacefaring crew under the Pegasus Corp banner. This isn't your everyday job. You're out there delivering packages, scooping up resources and playing hero by rescuing stranded pilots across a galaxy that's got more secrets than your uncle who's single. We know what he does, we all do. Now don't get it twisted, this job is no walk in the park. You're out there keeping the wheels, or should I say thrusters, of the interstellar economy spinning, all while dodging whatever the universe decides to throw at you. 
And let me tell you, space has a funny way of tossing curveballs. As commonly happens in space, a mystery portal pops up out of nowhere, leading to some uncharted planet that's practically begging for trouble. And trouble you shall find, as you start to realize there's some real shady stuff hidden behind the scenes in this universe. And this is where the adventure begins. To mix with the simulation. Sort of. Fly through space and time, make deliveries on time, collect resources and stay out of trouble. And walls. Game-wise, you're looking at a buffet of features. Dreams Incorporated have outdone themselves with some seriously stunning hand-drawn sci-fi scenes. You've got 30 missions to tackle across 5 wild spots. Nueva Luna, Mars, Venus, Ganymede and this mysterious joint called Adamus. The game lets you mix and match a colorful crew of pilots and deck out 4 unique ships with all sorts of gadgets and gizmos. But here's the real kicker. You need to keep your squad sane. Space travel is as taxing on the mind as it's on the body. Imagine being stuck in a metal camp for months on end. Your pilots start seeing things. Mines, fish, celestial pink elephants. Those hallucinations can make or break your mission, so you better keep an eye on your team's mental health. Moonland and Beyond seems like a fun game that I'll probably wait for a discount on. And it's all going down on April 23rd. You can jump into the madness on PS5, Xbox Series X and S, Switch and PC. At number 7 we have Grounded, releasing on PS5 and Switch. The game was released for PC and Xbox in September 2022, so finally, in April, it will be available to all fans of Sony and Nintendo. If you've never heard of Grounded, it is a first-person survival game which I can easily deem a horror game and you will understand later why. Here's the twist though. Your hero is shrunk to the size of a bug and has to survive all the horrors and dangers that lurk in the grass of a backyard. That's right, it's straight up Honey I Shrunk the Kids and I hope you're above the age of 30 to catch that reference. Anyway, what starts as a simple survival game, you know, looking for water and food, building basic structures and fighting some larva from time to time, quickly opens up to be a deeper, refined and thought through representative of the genre. The initial basic building you can create soon makes way for intricate multi-story structures with zip lines, trampolines, bed beds and other stuff that are just fun because don't forget, you're playing the game in the role of a kid. The building part on its own can make a good standalone game where you can sink hours into creating your dream home from dirt and grass blades. Combat is also not your typical run of the mill survival genre combat. It requires more precision, better timing. It's not an afterthought taking a backseat to the base building and surviving. You will be able to craft weapons from dead enemies, use range attacks, consumables, make perfect parries, a combat system that leans more towards modern RPGs. And this isn't your typical survival game either, where you're left scratching your head on how to light a fire or craft a simple tool. Grounded makes things clearer from the get-go, thanks to a user-friendly onboarding experience that doesn't skimp on the guidance. Everything in Grounded screams imagination, from buff giving smoothies and furniture that look like it's straight out of a kid's dream fort, to hiking over giant, seemingly, hot dogs and soda cans. The game's is a colorful, vibrant take on the survival genre. Did I mention you can play it cooperatively with up to three friends? <laughs> yeah. Grounded is fun though. If you haven't played it yet, you will be able to do so on Switch and PS5 on April 16th. Next up, we have another Crab's treasure, from the creative tanks of AgroCrab, the Seattle-based devs who previously brought us going under. Another Crab's treasure is a Souls-like game with crabs. Yup, that's exactly what it is. So, you play as Krill, a hermit crab living in an undersea world that's seen better days. Pollution's the new curse, turning your once pristine ocean into a dumping ground. To make matters worse, your shell's been repossessed. But Krill's not about to let this slide. Armed with trash ton treasure and some killer umami magic, you're on the quest to get your shell back and maybe, just maybe, save the ocean while you're at it. Agrocrap are diving deep into making a souls like that's not only unique but also welcomes newbies to the genre, while still packaging a punch for the hardcore fans. They're aiming to balance that fine line between challenge and accessibility and from the looks of it, another crap charger is shaping up to be just that. In Krill's world, trash isn't just waste, it's treasure. It's your armor, your style and your weapon against the dreaded gunk, a mysterious infection threatening ocean life. 
but it's not all doom and gloom under the sea. As you explore, you unlock umami techniques, cool moves inspired by sea creatures that will give you an edge in combat. Ever wanted to punch like a mantis shrimp or snail like a bobbit worm? Now's your chance. The ocean's vast and another crab treasure promises to take us on an adventure through kelp forests, coral reefs, sand castle cities and the eerie depths of deep sea trenches. With over 50 shells to try on and a plethora of umami abilities at your disposal, the game is a veritable treasure trove of exploration and combat. Designed to be as challenging or as chill as you want it to be, the game comes with assist options for those who would rather not smash their controllers in frustration. But for the souls-like aficionados looking for a worthy challenge, another crab's treasure is ready to deliver. So, if you're reaching for a grand undersea adventure filled with challenging combat, a world begging to be explored and, let's face it, way too many crabs, another crab's treasure is set to release on PC, Switch, all the Playstations and all the Xboxes on April 25th. Get ready to shell out some... <laughs> no, I can't do this. Hey, if you're enjoying this content, please like and subscribe. It's just two clicks and it means a lot to me. Thank you. Let's dive into something spine-tingling and mysterious that's been buzzing in the gaming world lately. The Curse of Grimsy Island. Now, before you ask if this is just another run-of-the-mill horror game, let me tell you that it's got twists and chills that make your skin crawl in the best way possible. Imagine this, an island shrouded in fog and secrets, a place that whispers tales of ancient curses and forgotten tragedies. That's Grimsy Island for you. A place that's not just a setting but a character in its own right. You start off as a rookie detective sent to this eerie island to investigate a series of disappearances. What sounds like a straightforward endeavor soon starts to get weirder by the second. The island has a way of playing tricks on you, with its history seeping into every crack and crevice, challenging you to piece together a puzzle that's as complex as it's creepy. The gameplay is a refreshing blend of exploration, puzzle solving and survival. And since the island is procedurally generated, it's different every time. The paths you take, the clues you find and even the outcomes you face can shift, making each experience unique terrifying. As you delve deeper into the island's mysteries, you encounter all sorts of oddities. From ghostly apparitions that seem to hint at the island's dark past, to cryptic messages left by someone or something that's always one step ahead. And then there are the locals. They're a mix of the helpful, the mysterious and the downright hostile. Interacting with them adds layers to the story, offering glimpses into the island's curse and how it's affected everyone differently. The game does a fantastic job of building atmosphere. One minute you're walking through a lush forest, the nature sounds around you. In the next, you're in a decrepit manner where the air feels heavy with despair. Combat, while not the main focus, is about strategy over brute strength. You're not a superhero, you're a detective, maybe not even a good one. You need to use your wits, set traps and use the environment to your advantage. But the main event here is the puzzles. Some will test your logic, others your observation skills and a few might even have you questioning your own sanity. What really sets the curse of Grimsy Island apart is its narrative depth. This isn't just a game about scares, it's a game about stories, the island story, your character story and the stories of those who've been affected by the curse. Choices matter here and they can lead to a variety of endings, each revealing different facets of the island's complex history. The Curse of Grimsy Island releases for PC on April 30th. Next, we have Euden, Euden, Euden. I'm gonna call it Euden. Euden Chronicle 100 Heroes, a spiritual successor to the Suikoden series developed by Rabbit and Bear Studios, led by none other than Suikoden legend Yoshitaka Murayama. The game quickly became the most funded video game Kickstarter campaign back in 2020. This enthusiasm was further bolstered by the release of a prequel. Euden Chronicle Rising, indicating a deep hunger for the franchise revival. Euden Chronicle 100 Heroes is a love letter to classic RPGs, boasting a turn-based battle system that's both familiar and fresh, wrapped up in a visual feast that blends 2D sprites and 3D environments. Think Octopath Traveler meets Star Ocean, but with a unique flair that sets them apart. Euden Chronicle 100 Heroes' innovative turn-based battle system and combat mechanics draw heavily from its Suikoden roots, allowing for 6 character parties and a turn-based strategy that demands thoughtful maneuvering, especially during boss battles. The combat is turn-based, where you need to assign moves to all heroes in your party before actually seeing the turn play out. There are also hero combos where heroes who bonded throughout the game can unleash a devastating tag team attack. Now, to be honest, 
be honest, I haven't played any of the Euden or Suikoden games. Uh, they look good to me. They are something that I can see myself playing one day. But uh, there are just too many great games releasing that are more in my lane recently. You know what I mean? And most modern games want you to put like thousand plus hours into them so some gems like this one i can easily see why they can fall through cracks or go unnoticed do you have such games games that you really want to play want to try one day but they just can't seem to find their way into your like daily rotation you know what i mean let me know in the comments let's talk about it. but anyways mark your calendars for Aiden chronicle 100 heroes is slated for release on april 23rd 2024 this eagerly awaited title will be available across a wide range of platforms including pc playstation 4 playstation 5 nintendo switch xbox one and xbox series x and s ensuring that fans all the new can partake in this grand adventure At number 3 we have Tales of Kenzera Zhao. Tales of Kenzera Zhao is shaping up to be the kind of game that will surely appeal to Metroidvania fans, of which I am one. Think of the combat flow of Hollow Knight mixed with the rich storytelling vibe of Iconoclasts and you are on the right track. Developed by Surgeon Studios and led by the one and only Abubakar Salim, uh, that's the guy that played Bayek in Assassin's Creed Origins, you're welcome, you play as the Shaman Zhao who is on a quest to gain the favor of Kalunga, basically the god of death. The two are presented as this dynamic duo where Zhao is a bit of a hotshot while Kalunga keeps him in check with his, I don't know, wisdom, I guess. The game promises a combat system that's more like a dance than a brawl, so think of the latest Prince of Persia or Witcher 3 with a rhythm to it and a promise of deeper mechanics and big over-the-top battles. As for the arsenal, Zhao uses two tribal masks, which help him wield some cool powers based on the sun and moon for close and range battle respectively. Also expect the standard traversal mechanics, double jumps, wall dashes, air dashes, etc. So if this is something you look for in a game, you won't be disappointed. By the way, the game draws a lot from the African mythology, which is a nice change of pace with all the Norse and Greek mythology games releasing lately. Just a personal opinion, don't add me. But surprisingly, the game rips pages off the book of something else, namely tabletop games with little help from the legends at critical role. That's right, the D&D gods themselves are lending a hand to Salim, bringing that rich, immersive storytelling to the digital realm, creating a game that feels open, magical, and full of choices that matter, kind of like the best RPG sessions you've ever had. The hero is on an epic quest that feels personal and loaded with potential. Salim's own journey of loss and grief deeply influences the story and the experience, making it resonate on a level that we usually don't see in games. In a nutshell, Tales of Kenzera Zao is gearing up to be something special. It's got the potential to blend slick combat with a story that hits you right in the feels, all set in a world that, frankly, we haven't seen enough of in gaming. So, when Tales of Kenzera Zao finally drops on April 23, you will find it ready and waiting on Xbox Series X and S, PS5, Switch and PC. In second place is Sandland, an action RPG that has been brewing in the Bandai Namco Caldron for a long time now. The game is based on the manga of the same name created by the legendary Akira Toriyama, the mastermind behind Dragon Ball who sadly left us earlier this month. But hey, Sandland stands as a fitting tribute, a last hurrah from the maestro himself. This gem popped up on our radar during last year's Summer Games Fest and quickly started to make waves. Sandland is set in a distant future deserted world where humans and demons live together peacefully. Of course, as usually happens with deserts, water is almost nowhere to be found. You play as Bills Above and his two companions, one of whom's name is V, because he's good at hula no, it's stealing, of course it's stealing. This ragtag band of heroes is on a mission to uncover the legendary spring hidden somewhere in this desert nightmare. But that's just a start. Beyond the horizon lies a whole new world ripe for exploration. You will explore new places, develop skills, upgrade fighting moves and battle enemies in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Or tank-to-tank -tank combat, as vehicular battles seem to be a chunky part of the gameplay. Billsy Bob can use a garage to upgrade, repair and even create vehicles from scratch. Changing types of guns, 
than all that. And all of your vehicles stay safely in Beelzebub's bag in the form of Dragon Ball style capsules. So think of this game as a mashup between Dragon Ball games and Borderlands games, which now that I said out loud sounds amazing. Crazy, but amazing. Sandland is a journey through a world crafted with the love, humor and genius of Toriyama. Mark your calendars and get ready to roll out on PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X and S come April 26, 2024. But there's more. If you're a fan, Sandland isn't just making waves in the gaming world. Following his footsteps is a new anime film adaptation that hit the screen last year. If it's not enough Sandland action for you, a serious picking up where the movie left off is set to stream from spring 2024. You can catch it on Hulu if you're in the US and Disney Plus for the international crowd. And in the top place we have Stellar Blade, a PS5 exclusive developed by the South Korea based team at Shift Up. This game is all about blending lightning fast action with a post apocalyptic world that's as stunning as it is savage. You step into the shoes of Eve, who is a part of, let's say the resistance, against an alien threat that defeated and banished humanity from Earth. Eve finds some allies along the way but mainly beats the probing desires out of aliens. And the battle system is over the top, to say the least. You can see how it goes down in the gameplay trailer. Flash combos, slick dodges and those also satisfying parries that open up enemies like a can of beans. All the parries and dodges add up to a power gauge which then Eve can use to unleash more powerful skills and combos. The battles are very reminiscent of a Platinum's game game. So if you know, come on. And of course being a PS5 exclusive, the game will utilize the DualSense haptic feedback as much as possible. Speaking about hardware capabilities, Stellar Blade looks very impressive. Eve will explore a post-apocalyptic setting that's been given a vibrant Asian makeover. The game is set in Zion, a city that's standing tall against the odds, inspired by the bustling streets and neon glow of places like Hong Kong, Japan, China and Korea. But it's not just about where it draws its inspiration from. It's about crafting a refuge for Earth Last Stand, a melting pot of the world's survivors. It is not hard to see what Shift Up tried to do here. The game director Kim Hyung Tae confirmed that the inspiration has been drawn from Battle Angel Lila or classics like Blade Runner. But you don't even have to take a closer look at the gameplay to figure out the biggest inspiration. Yep, it's Nier Automata from top to bottom. And that's not a bad thing, because honestly, we needed Nier Automata for the current generation consoles and luckily Stellar Blade seems like it could scratch that itch. Also, it seems Eve's customization will be an essential part of the game, maybe even from the gameplay, because in the gameplay trailer she changed outfits like 10 times in 2 minutes. Also, side boobs. And no, I'm not 16. Why? So what's the takeaway? Although Stellar Blade looks fantastic and basically checks all the boxes of a good game, I just have this tiny thought lingering in the back of my brain whispering Forspoken. I don't know, I hope I'm wrong. Stellar Blade will hit the PS5 this April 26th. And this is it. I hope you find some games in there to look forward to. If you did, let me know in the comments. Also, have you played any Suikoden games? What is the proper way to pronounce a Yuden? Let's talk about it. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Surprises, let me know you care. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. Get out.